Hey everybody, um, today's video, uh, I've realized that it's been a while since I've uh, put one out, but um, I'm going to do a series on the most common Adalo issues that I see. So um, I do a lot of coaching with people and help calls with people um, with Adalo. Um, I've done probably 70 different people now. Um, and these are, uh, the next videos are going to be, a, you know, the most common issues that I see when people call me about apps. So, um, the first one, the one that we're going to cover today is, um, this, uh, people expecting to, to be able to access data on a screen and not be, being able to, right? So, um, you're expecting to see current whatever on this screen, right? Current post, current order current product, whatever it is, um, but you just don't have that information, okay? So the rule of thumb here is, um, or, or, or the, the way that Adala works, is that you cannot access any data on any screen unless you link to that screen from a list, all right? Uh, the only thing that you are able to access on any page, regardless of whether or not it's connected to another page, the only data that you're able to access is the logged in user's data, okay? That's what we would call a global variable, right? It's, it's accessible everywhere, whether screens are linked together or not, right? So I have a piece of text here, and um, you'll notice that if I go in here, even though I have a database full of products and posts and order items and orders, the only thing that I can access uh, on this page right now is the logged in user's information, right? Because this screen is not linked to anywhere. Um, and more than that, even if I just link, uh, like say a button, right? Let's just say I have a button on my home screen here and I link it to my blank screen. Okay, link to blank. Um, it's still not going to send any data, okay? I can have lots of products here, you know, I can have, you know, a, a nice picture here with a label saying this is a product and then click on it, um, but it's still not going to send any data to the screen. So you'll see that at this, my text box still here, it still doesn't give me any options for anything, okay, um, to specify. Uh, so in order to display data on any screen, you have to link to it from a list. Now, there are some tricks to this. Uh, of course, if I click on a list item, okay, so let's just say that, um, let's just delete this filter here. Uh, this is going to be a list of products uh, for the time being. But let's just say that I wanted to click on a product and see its information on this screen here, okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have it link to the blank screen. And you'll notice that down here in the action, it tells me what data it's sending, okay? Um, and there's two ways to do this. You can check it on the action, and you can also check it by selecting the entire screen and then going over here to available data and seeing what data is available is being pushed to this screen, okay? Um, so if I click on an item in this list, now suddenly on this screen for my text, I can access the current product See that new option there? Uh, I can access the current product, which is whichever product I selected in this list. Okay, this it, you can you can almost interchange uh, current with the word selected, right? Selected product. Okay. Um, now again, like I said, um, we'll just make it the ID for now. Like I said, there are some workarounds to this, right? Like say for instance, I don't want the user to have to pick something from a list. I just want to send them to dir something directly, um, you know, directly to a screen with a specific piece of information. What I can do is make something a list and pre-filter it for them, right? So if I want this button to show me the product for dad shoes, right? Uh, I have a product called dad shoes in here. What I can do is go up to these three little dots. I can click make list. And this will actually make it a list of buttons here. And you can do this with anything, right? Any component you can do this with. Uh, I'm just going to make it so that only one appears here. We'll make this basically the exact same thing as this list, just a list of products. And then what I can do is I can filter this down so that the ID uh, contains dad. 
all right um, because that's what I want to show and, and you can do this with anything not just names all right uh, I'm gonna set the maximum number of items to just one and you can sort it if you need to and then the link action here is going to be to link to the blank screen again okay and again it's sending the current product okay um, so let's give this a preview I think I can log in here Let's see here. We use our dude at Gmail. I think he's still in here, hopefully. There we go. Um, and I don't have, I didn't assign the, the labels to this. That's why there's nothing showing up here in the list. Um, that's a, actually a, another issue for another video that I'm going to make. Um, having these labels show up in the list. Um, uh, but you'll see that if I click on this, it will show me the uh, product name here, fruitcake and dad shoes, okay? Um, and the same thing with this button, right? I can direct the user to a specific page and show a specific piece of information without them really knowing that that's what they're clicking on, right? So dad shoes there, all right? So um, that's, that's more of a beginner tip, but that is a critical, critical aspect of how Adalo functions. Um, if you are expecting to be able to find information on a screen and you don't have it, check to make sure that something is linking to that screen from a list. Again, just as a recap, the logged in user information is available on any screen, regardless of if it's connected to another screen or not. But if you're trying to display anything else from your database, so any of your, any of, the, of these other collections, even users, right? Um, it has to be linked to another page from a list. All right. Hope that was helpful for you. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll do another video. Um, the next one will be on not being able to select an option when you think you should be able to.